Nowadays, you need an email account for everything. To create a parent portal account, it'll ask for an email. In order to email parents through Google Classroom, you need an email address. In order to register your students, you need an email. So if you don't have an email, they are free and easy to create. I'm just going to quickly go through the steps of creating a Gmail account. Now, Gmail is a Google account email. Um, you could also use Yahoo, but for this tutorial, we're going to keep it simple. So creating a Gmail account, I just typed it into Google, and I have this big red button here to create one. When you get to the email creation screen, put your first and last name. And then here for username, our recommendation is to use the street that you live on, your home number, and then an animal. The reason we do this is because there are so many Gmail accounts already created that most likely you won't be able to pick the one that matches your name. Now know that if this is already taken, Gmail will give you recommendations for accounts that are not taken in red below, and you can always use those. Now for the password, what I recommend is using the school that you attended or your favorite sports team with a capital letter. So we're going to put central in here. And then the month of your birth, so minus 10. If yours is January, then put 01. And then day of your birth, and so 05 for myself. Um, this four-digit code is something that's unique to you that you can remember, but it also includes numbers, and numbers are required for a Gmail password. So I'm going to just repeat that and hit next. Now, if, if the account was not taken, it goes automatically. If it was taken for some reason, choose one of the uh, suggestions from Gmail and move on because the name of the Gmail really doesn't matter. It still shows in plain text your name, um, first and last name. And so people will not be confused if you have a weird email address. Um, here, you can skip this or you can enter your phone number if you ever wanna recover your password but we've created a Gmail. So know that though I need to write this information down, the username and password somewhere secure, um, because if I just hit next and don't remember what this account was, I can't log in later to check on my emails. So um, know that this is a quick process and you can have as many Gmail accounts as you want, but my recommendation is just to create one. I hope this was helpful.